How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a complete anime series unboxing and it's going to be on another edition for our Gundam anime collection and that is Gundam Seed Destiny. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So here is the Collector's Ultra Edition for Gundam Seed Destiny. Yes, the sequel series after the first Gundam Seed. So here's the front. Here you have Shin, Ray, and Luna Maria. And there you have the title. There's the Sunrise logo, Collector's Ultra Edition. And this is the same kind of box set from the first series, uh, like oversized uh, kind of uh, set. Here's the spine. There's the other side. And here's the back. Here we have Shin, Atherin, and Kira. Okay, then on the bottom here, uh, you have the story details on the top right there. The very bottom, you have the credits for Destiny and Stargazer, the OVAs that you do get. And right here are these special features. Now, this is all on disc uh, content, plus, you do get an art book. So, this includes the entire 50 episode HD remastered version of the TV series featuring new audio tracks. Mobile Suit Gundam Seed uh, CE-73 Stargazer. That is a set of really cool OVAs. Really glad they included those because it takes place during Gundam Seed Destiny. Yeah. Uh, as well as the original 50 episode version of the TV series. You also get uh, episode 51 Final Plus. All for the original special edition movies. That is uh, standard def on Blu-ray for those. Digital extras, uh, but it is on disc. You have a interview with director Mitsuo Fukuda and line producer Harumi Akia. Director's concept music videos, clean openings, clean endings. Uh, let's see, character theater shorts, promotional videos, commercials. 120 page art book. That has art galleries, data archives, uh, characters, mecha, maps, uh, depicting the timeline. You also get a Q&A with the director. And also a Destiny uh, glossary. So yeah, lots of really cool stuff. Just like the first series had. Okay. And here has a clear uh, slick cover on it. Very nice. Okay, then this is a box without it. Get the full on uh, picture here. Yeah, it's like one of those, uh, another uh, oversized box. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these. Yeah. Okay, and then here are the contents. I think I have them backwards, <laughs> but you go either way. So you have collection one and two for the HD remaster, the standard def uh, TV series, and you have Stargazer. And there's a booklet. And it's pretty secure, uh, mostly with the slick case. The disc uh, cases will kind of slip out, but that art book ain't going anywhere. Yeah, it's still <laughs> it's hanging on in there. Okay. And I'll actually take this out first. It can be kind of tough. Get out. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, it's kind of nice little protector in there. Okay. So here is the art book. And yeah, you're going to notice, uh, like the first series set, it reuses a lot of the same pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a thing. Uh, nice hardcover. Very sturdy. There's the spine, the art and data of Destiny. Here's the back. That's a cool shot. You have the impulse. Uh, what is that? Infinite Justice and Destiny. I believe that's towards the end of the show. Where they're fighting in space. So yeah, uh, Gundam Seed, or ugh, my voice cracked there. <laughs> uh, Gundam Seed uh, Destiny, uh, this was highly promoted everywhere. Uh, you know, the first one had had its run, you know, did its thing, and then this eventually, you know, the previews, trailers came out. And, uh, yeah, for this one, uh, I thought Destiny was alright. <laughs> uh, I think, I think that was pretty much when I first saw it. 
And then, uh, yeah, you know, I think overall it's just okay because they have a lot of points in here. Oh, this, this suit, this pilot. Uh, I won't say who it is, but what happens to them? My gosh, uh, <laughs> that's a cool looking suit too. Yeah, once again, you have like the, uh, or you get like the Zakus and Goofs, uh, just like in different kind of versions. And uh, you also get some really cool pictures in here. There's a Sword Impulse. So it's like the first series, I would say it's like a Gundam 0079. And then you have this one, which is like double Zeta, kind of. Oh, this scene. Impulse versus Strike. Or no, yeah, versus a Freedom. Ooh, what did you guys think about that? <laughs> and the result. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like those. Uh, or it's like Zeta, double Zeta. Because the Impulse, it takes like three parts to form it. I wonder if that was the goal, if that's just what it turned out to be, but yeah. It's like the reverse. First one, uh, Zaft steals the suits, and then the second one is like the, uh, I want to say the Earth Alliance steals the suits <laughs> that are being made. So yeah, it's just kind of reversed. Those are some cool pictures. But yeah, let me know what did you guys think of Destiny, uh, you know, when you first saw it, or if you saw it later. Feel free to let me know. And towards the back here, you get some character uh, profiles. Yeah, this book has a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff. And then let's see. So you have like the Zaf forces. There is a uh, Locust or Lack. I mostly know it as Locust. Yeah. Athra, Kira. Kagali or Kagali. Uh, yeah, you have a bunch of returning characters from the first show. Here you have some of the mechs. Which I thought were really uh, well designed. Uh, always like the uh, different suits. Yeah, the ships and stuff. Here's some info about the box sets here. And then on the back. <clears throat> No, oh, voice keeps cracking. You also have a glossary. And it's supposed to like explain like certain things, you know, what the neutron jammer is. Uh, also the, uh, what is it, a uh, phantom pain. Yeah, it kind of gives you definitions and stuff. And then you have the back. There's Shin and the Destiny. And on the front it was, uh, was it Akira and the Freedom. Alright, so yeah, very nice uh, art book. And let's go ahead and put that back in here so it just kind of slips in and just like that very secure okay so now on to the blu-ray cases so the HD uh, remasters so the first series had an issue where they actually sent the wrong uh, HD remasters it was like the I think the TV edits uh, but then eventually they sent out the real ones where they went in and changed actual footage, added new scenes. So, uh, yeah. But luckily this one did not have that problem. This one was all intact. Which is really cool. And then they reuse that picture. Oh, I forgot the audio video specs. So that is actually right here. On the bottom. Okay, so video 1080p, 16 by 9 HD native. A standard def 480i, 4x3. So yes, you do get the black bars on the sides. This is Blu-ray only. Region is A. There's right stuff and Sunrise logo. Uh, hats off to them for putting a deal together where they pretty much release everything Gundam. Because a lot of a lot of these shows were out of print for a long time, so really cool. Audio HD Japanese and English DTS stereo. Standard Def, Japanese and English Stereo, 13 disc, subtitles are English, then you have the runtime over there. So, yeah. Okay, I just almost forgot that. Okay, you do get some nice art on all the disc. So there's one. And then on the edges here, you have the names of the episodes. This is really cool. So there's one. Here is two and three 
There is four. And there is five. And these all continue uh, together. So they don't like restart the episodes or anything like that. Once you get to another set. So here's collection two. Yeah, there you see they reuse the picture. <laughs> Clear up. That's the spine. And then on the back here, you do have these specs on the bottom. So the new audio track, so I believe this is like the first uh, Gun & Sea box set where if you get the collector's edition, because there is a basic one that's coming out soon uh, for the first series, uh, you get the original dub and you get the newer dub as well. So I think in order to get that, you have to get the collector's editions, which is kind of kind of weird. Yeah. So here is disc uh, six. Here is seven and eight. And the episodes continue. The numbers now we're like in the thirties. All right. It's an eight. Here is nine and ten. So this one does not include Final Plus. That is on the standard def uh, version. So that is the HD collections. Show you guys them together. Very nice. Okay. Next is the standard definition on Blu-ray. Here's the Kira, Locus, and the Strike Freedom, which shows up later. And yeah, out of all the suits, uh, which one is your favorite? You have the Infinite Justice, you have the uh, you know Strike Freedom, you also have the uh, Destiny, Impulse, the Abyss, Gundam, Gaia, uh, what was it? Uh, oh my gosh, Chaos, <laughs> uh, the Destroy, which is like a big giant uh, unit, uh, Katsugi, you have Doms, Goofs, Zakus, yeah, let me know which ones are your favorites. Okay, so here's the standard definition. So this is broken down into two discs, uh, so it's not as spread spread apart. So there's one. It's episodes 1 through 25. There's two, and then this, this has episodes 26 to 50 plus, uh, er, and final plus, which it says right there. And then on the last one, you have all these special edition movies all on one disc. A nice artwork. And actually, all the covers are reversible, so I think I forgot. So I'll go back <laughs> and show the other two. Here's the Kira and Atherin. Yeah, Gun and Sea Destiny, uh, you know, like story wise, they do some things where, especially when the newer, uh, or well, when the older characters show up, it really has an effect on the show. It, you kind of, you can kind of tell where. Okay, we're just going to focus on these people. You do get more on the newer characters, but what they do is kind of odd. Yeah, it's, let me know, what did you guys think of the the choices for uh, Destiny? You know, especially story-wise. Uh, music, just like the first series, lots of really great songs. Uh, awesome openings, endings, uh, insert music that's in there uh, for certain episodes. Uh, visually, the show looks great. Uh, the remastered, you do have like newer, uh, extended, and uh, uh, you know just cooler scenes that they did in there, or that they threw in there. And uh, yeah, yeah. Overall, uh, I think really, really nice addition. Okay, here's the reverse cover because I don't think I show these. <laughs> And also the dubs are, are pretty nice. Uh, which version do you prefer? Do you like the original uh, dub or the newer uh, edition that came out later? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. Put those off to the side here. All right, and then last up you get Gundam Seed CE-73 uh, Stargazer 
really, really cool set of OVAs. Uh, if I remember right, I believe there's three of them. Yeah. So this, uh, you also have little, uh, like shorts of, uh, what is it, a uh, red frame astray, and then the blue frame. <laughs> uh, sadly, those aren't in here, uh, but those would have been cool. But I'm really glad they included this, because this takes place during Gundam Seed Destiny at a certain point. And uh, there you have the Stargazer Gundam, which has a really cool design. It's like, uh, what was it for? Like deep space exploration? Yeah, for uh, travel. But still really cool design. There's a disc there. Very nice. And this is uh, sub only. So yeah, sadly this is not this did not get a dub, but uh really glad that they included it. Yeah, one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this version. And there is the standard death. Stargazer. And they are together. All right. And that does it for Gundam Seed Destiny, uh, the Ultra Collector's Edition. So, so far, uh, there is no uh, basic version out for pre order anything for this. Now, the first series does have one that is up for pre order now. And this one I got from Right Stuff Anime, which uh, I need to get all the collector's editions. You pretty much have to go through them. Especially because of their deal, uh, excuse me, burping there, with uh, Sunrise. So this I got during a uh, Sunrise sale where pretty much all the Gundam series were like half off. And this, because this is normally like two something, uh, so this I got for a really good deal. And, uh, uh, so yeah, uh, this should still be available for what I can tell. And let me bring out the first, uh, series here. Because I did do a video on this, so feel free to check that out. Now let's put them together. So yeah, this one's a little bit wider, the Destiny one, because you get a, uh, an extra case for the OVAs. And there they are. Both look pretty good together. Now, can I go up a bit? So, for the first series, if you are going to try and get the uh, Collector's Edition, which I believe is still out there, I think it's still available, you should get these now, the corrected disc. So, what they did was they sent out the, I guess, TV edit, and then they had to replace them with the actual full-on remasters where they went in and changed and added scenes and stuff here. So, yeah, I did do a video on these as well, so feel free to check both of those out. And uh, so if you get this version now, you should get these, the correct disc. Because uh, I remember Right Stuff Anime put out a, uh, uh, like a little notice for it and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, that was kind of, you know, kind of odd to find out because I'd already made a video on it. <laughs> but then uh, Destiny, luckily, that wasn't an issue. So you do get the full-on remasters, which is really cool. So uh, luckily there wasn't an issue there. Uh, but yeah, same kind of box set. Uh, eventually, I think there will be a basic version that you can get. So the first series does have it split into collections. So it says Collection 1. Uh, right now, it has like the Strike Gundam flying from the uh, Archangel. And uh, yeah, they have that up for pre-order. Uh, and then eventually, Destiny will probably get one. So yeah, let me know. What do you guys think of these Ultra Collector's Editions? Also, uh, they did one for Gundam Double O, which is really nice. They had uh, one for Gundam Wing. G Gundam had one. Yeah, Rights of Anime and Sunrise are doing a really good job with these series. You know, getting them out there. Uh, especially the ones, older ones, that were way out of print. <laughs> and we're going for really high prices. So hats off to them. And uh, out of both shows, which one do you prefer? Uh, you know, you do have some things with these series. You know, a lot of... A lot of reuse footage. Uh, Destiny has full-on scenes from the first one, just that it, they changed the suits and stuff for characters. Uh, music overall is beautiful. Great songs, openings, endings. Let me know which song is your favorite. Uh, also, character designs are fine. Love all the suit designs. I thought that was really cool. Uh, you know, sound effects, the way they sound is kind of nice. Uh, scenery is fine. And uh, the dubs are cool. Y'all out there, I'm glad you do get both. And uh, subtracts are excellent. And yeah, feel free to let me know what you guys think. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.